Hello there everybody and welcome back to Orwell. Uh, quick recap of last time. Uh, we prevented the bombing. And we talked about Harrison O'Donnell, Juliet Carrington, Abraham Goldfels, Nina and Cassandra. Now we're going on to day three. So let's do that. Episode three, Unperson. The hero returns. No, no, it's all fine, really. You deserve the credit. At least from me, because you'll never get a public one. Just imagine your name in big letters in that TNB article. This Nina character is the final member of Thought that we don't have concrete information on. Since she is the one who planned the protest at the Circle Mall and now a bomb has been found there, she is now of special interest to us. Her stance towards law enforcement just gives us one more reason, as you just found out yesterday. Focus on Nina, but keep watching all the others too. Oh, you get to multitask. So, first things first, let's take a brief look at all the articles. Nope. Headlines. Investigation. Be on watch. Movie release. Endangered, endangered by lawsuit against director. Grey Shadows 3. Oh god. Which was not the case for the edited movie poster Aaron shared online. Oh wow, this... I don't know who wrote this, but it's pretty amazing they keep going on about it. It's, it's realistic-ish. So now we've got uh, this article again. Oh, it's a new one. Well, Harrison, let's see. So let's get something abundantly clear to begin with. I feel bad. I feel like a fucking moron. And rightly so. In last week's no article, I blabbered out, uh, blabbered about some, how some bombs would soon go off in Bonton or Farview. At that time, just to advertise my point of view. I'm truly sorry for everyone involved or affected by those terrible events. It was never my intention to ridicule or trivialize the attacks in Bonton. Condemns the Bonton bombings. We, the people of our great nation, must grow ever more vigilant. We ourselves must stand up for our safety, alongside of high-tech security mechanisms, as those can only work in addition to our own perception. So he is becoming sympathetic. But is there something on his personal side? I'm guessing no, but I don't see it right now. Oh, here, here. The wall of Hancock. The wall of text. Yeah, he, that one's inactive now, basically. Maybe there's something here as well. Let's see... No, that's just the same old, same old. Let's see... Pro security mechanisms. Calls on people to take care of their own safety. Curious. From unknown person to Harrison O'Donnell. Forgot to charge my phone tonight and yeah, so I have to do this old fashioned way. I really want to thank you for a very nice evening. Um, funny, I just realized that I've never been to your place, even after all these years we have known each other. So, I figure you're hiding another love affair of yours there, are you? Probably your ex, the one you've been talking about every so often when I was around. Or, thi or this girl that is always jammering on about how she despises the safety bill. Nina, I think. So they definitely know each other. Why would someone oppose the safety bill? We have the lowest crime rate in years, or possibly ever. You and me, we have a job thanks to the bill. The only reason to not support it is if you have a dirty past. That's not a good reason. Um, with the situation as heated as it is, this sounds like someone we should have a very close look at. We need a full examination, a concrete background. Who is she? Second, what motivates her? What does she want? And finally, where was she around the time of the bombings? Um, 
I'm a bit hesitant to add uh, these items, but I think I probably should. Strange way to underline one's arguments. It's still particular. Peculiar, sorry. He mentioned bombings before anything happened, but well. Now he's advocating the use of Orwell, basically. He's right, we cannot save everyone, but we're still the watchful eye of the nation. Very well. Oh, another entry unlocked. By concerned one. Ah, that's Nina, so let's go back there. The indifference towards their own rights is a worse enemy than the government itself when we are to overcome privacy destroying law privacy destroying surveillance laws. We are in a state of war against our own government. The, de the declaration of war is the safety bill, the only gain of which is reinforcing the chokehold the party has on us. With this bill, they are screwing every single citizen of this country, yet most people are ignorant to this. Most people simply don't care about their rights being wrestled from them. Why bother when they have nothing to hide? Is their default excuse. They feel safe in their cozy houses while the government slowly puts the muzzle on onto their forehead, ready to pull the trigger at any second. With our move of the, on the crowded Circle Mall in Bonton yesterday, the first shots have been fired toward the lurking indifference among the populace. But they were merely warning shots. A friendly reminder that it's about time to take sides in this conflict. We cannot tolerate indif indifference. We will not accept it. If you are not with us, you are against us. December 2015. Goldfelds. Frankly, I was in shock when I heard of the events in the mall. Have how you in particular incite the crowd to directly threaten the visitors? Oh, that's a big deal. Scaring people to get attention to one's message? This is what thought's about. I agree about being oblivious in this matter it is the problem's root. We have discussed this many times. We, have to, we must get their attention carefully though, through interesting and remarkable events. We must make them think. Scaring them to death is the exact opposite. Violence, is violence cannot be the key and thoughts shall not stand for it. Actively condemning violence. Ah, there we are. Ladies, gents, can we all calm down a notch? Abe, you are, you are totally right. We are fucking fire starters. We got a little bit carried away by the euphoria of finally getting our message out there. We didn't think straight for a moment. It's not gonna happen again. Again, he, he doesn't want violence. He wants to make a statement. Ha! Huh. Afterwards, they're, they're clever and feel sorry about their actions. It's always the same. So, the concerned one, aka Nina, feels betrayed. It's good to know. Hey kiddo, you're absolutely fucking lutely right. One could, one could rightly call that the evening mind-blowing. And of course I'll pick you up tonight. I like this more you are talking of. And I think I am in need of it. But let's not stay at my place tonight. It's utterly unfit for a lady like yourself. No lovers are hidden there. Only not so hidden leftovers and laundry. Especially not Juliet. I haven't heard anything from the bitch in months. I'm done with her because I'm with you now. My Martha. Martha? Uh, pinky swear. And Nina? Uh, anything will set me off. Angry outbursts. Nina? Don't even get me started on her. She was my partner in crime for a while ago. Uh, so to speak, that's it. <clears throat> yeah. Good to know. Partner in crime, okay, what crime? So, Nina gets triggered. And raise outbursts, interesting, keep looking for a reason behind this. And he's done with her. Alright, that seems... That seems pretty honest. Especially considering they are opposite ends right now. 
Juliet and Harrison together. That's uh, once that one's new to me. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Seems to be over now. Uh, but let's not stay at my place tonight. Plans to stay away from his home on Saturday. All right. That's a decent amount of information. But who is Marka? Hmm. There's something more here. Just give it a moment. Ah, you tell a concerned one. There we go. So now we got an ear. Sylv. Sylvia or something. Hey Nina. Just wanted to ask if everything is fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're having a great time. Thanks for thanks for taking care, even though it's Saturday. Don't mention it. How are you feeling? Still shitty. Mm, fair enough. Nina, I hate to say it, so don't hold it against me. Okay, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're worrying me. You always look so sad. I'm all right. Often sad. Okay. Anything new on the love front? No. <clears throat> Is she gonna mention Harrison? Only idiots on this singular portal thing you recommended, Sylph. She's on a dating site. Don't know how you got to find John amongst so much crap. I'm gonna remove the account. Yeah, it's 99% fools, but just keep it tight. Someone will come to rescue you. No thanks, I can rescue myself. Gotta work. Thanks again, Sylv. Call you later. See you, girl. Cheer up. So, going into a dating website. Don't be single, be singular. Oh, I'm already logged in as her. That's really fucking creepy. Well, time to put a face to a name. Bond in Farview area. Seems alright. If I lock it in, then it's, yeah, it's fixed, but she probably wouldn't be lying on a dating website on that account. <laughs> October 1985. Not sure this is relevant, but I'll try. Might be good for camera footage. Likes hiking, climbing. Doesn't like suits most movies, can't like dinners, so don't even bother with that. <laughs> Asian food, food. You might, it might be useful for uh, getting information from um, uh, fast food. Recent profile visitors. A woman. Well, that's weird. Well, sort of. Athletic, not really. Anything. Financial stability. That's what you're looking for in a partner. Uh, that's a bit weird. She's striving to find that stability on her own accord. Any reason why she craves stability? Because she's not stable herself, probably. Interested in politics quite a bit. In the end, it all comes down to a degree of interest. And which agenda? So we've got Pretender 80, Super Randy. Uh, hey blondie, striking beauty, <clears throat> lonely hearts, and go out for a drink. Blondie, seriously, 80s child. Great, me too. So, when are we going out? We're not. So, why is Sam? This is probably her lover or something. Wait, what? So. This is Nina, but now she's calling herself Molly Schwartz. And 
is Rick van Dijn and I'm for more information. If you dislike candlelight dinners and movies, as you stated, guys will probably have a hard time dating you. It makes me wonder what is it that you would like to do on a potential first date. I could really use a helping hand here. Care to lend me yours? Name's Molly Schwartz. I sure. She's using a fake name. It's such a peculiar one. Yeah. All oh, right, she's not uh, registered with her own name here, is she? Just concerned one again. Yeah. Molly Schwartz. So it's an alias. Oh, and she's a temp. <coughs> So, it's my son Michael, single parent, that's uh, tough, very tough. Doesn't seem like the type to be involved with terrorist attacks, no, you wouldn't think so. Unless she's lying, which is still possible. Log down his word smally. This is a very, very creepy thing to see. Maintenance mechanical repairs. That's some engineering, you know? She could be able to make a bomb with those skills. So, there is a conflict somewhere. And we've got her email. Which adds a lot of more information. Uh, works long weekends and long hours. Yeah, good to know. So well, where would she find the time? Just as the Prime Minister leaves, the weather is getting even shittier. Look at us working on the weekend. It's different, of course, when you're a single mother. That must be tough. Employed on April 13. Employed on April 12. April 11. She's getting high marks, so... Strange, really, that she's not employed anymore. Mm, we got the most of it for now. Blaine cancels meeting for surprise visit in Triplith. The original crisis meeting was removed from the official party website and Blaine took a National Air Force flight to Triflith, the capital of Parches. Yeah. And we've got our email. Maternova. That's another... Uh, wait. This is from a doctor, so it's probably her real last name this time. Patient number. Oh god, so we can look into her medical records. No pathological findings, so what's going on? Bonton Road, far view. Bonton, industrial quarters. October 7th. Alright, we've got an exact name, exact birth, date of birth. Uh, prior inflicted wound on the left upper leg. Information might come in handy. Something is going on. Give it a sec. Oh! Juliet, the plot thickens. Her mother again. Jewel bug. That's an alias. June and Jewel bug had their annual sisterly chat. Ah, it's her sister. It's working today. 
So she works on Saturday, or at least something in the weekend. <clears throat> Office is just a good excuse to, you know, not be at home. I see you never go. Oh, yeah, right. You earn good money at Rosentag, don't you? Could rent a flat. Pretty rough start this year. So what happened? Couldn't really stand being alone at the time. <clears throat> so this was probably after Harrison. Yeah. Here I thinking, and here I was thinking, Juliet had finally reached the state of emancipation. Oh, yeah. So their parents, their parents are basically in control. Yeah, I was so envious when Dad called you his Junebug and he didn't have any nickname for me. Aww, that's so sad. Let's talk another time, I will call you again, do not try to reach me. Wait, why not? Oh, just kidding. Huh. That's what a big city is for, right? Yeah. That's pretty sweet, though. This doesn't give me much extra information, but uh, all right. So here we've got her medical address versus her uh, work address. You wouldn't really lie to your doctor. But why would you go against your job opportunities? What was that? I heard a beep. A previous entry. Gas Trax Forte, 250 milligrams. Patient uh, reports of permanent unrest and ability to sleep properly. Gets up 5 to 12 times a night, but does not feel overly tired. Hypervigilance. Oh. Ina, what on earth is going on with you? This is very, very disturbing. Hypervigilance is close to feelings of paranoia, though. It's not the same. Alright. I want to ask for a duration of the symptoms to record the uh, anamnesis of the patient stated that they began over three years ago, but would not elaborate, asking why she did not visit earlier. The patient vehemently voiced discontent. So, it's because of trauma. The patient tends to react aggressively when feeling challenged or confronted, rushes to extremes. Symptoms are similar to those of a PTSD, post-traumatic post stress syndrome. That sounds menacing, an important finding. I wonder what might have caused it. We can't go back any further, so that's a bit difficult. So this goes all the way back to, to, to 2014. And it goes on to right now, I believe. Yeah, 2017. You wouldn't lie that long. So we've got three ratings. 11, 12, and 13. And this was done in. Date recorded April 4th. Is a medical leave strict dressed? I think she's been working. She's a single mom. She, I don't think she can afford to not work. She's a temp. She doesn't get much. So. I'm going for this one. So she's worked working a lot over the week. Does that count for, for or perhaps limiting her ability to have triggered, have triggered the bombings? Yeah. Initiate. Our little hacker friend. So 
so now you can ask. Initiate is the name. We already got that. I'm someone who knows you better than you know yourself. Oh no, not you again. You're from Singular, right? Don't care how you got my phone number. User has blocked communication. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, if you could force it back open, that would be pretty damn interesting. So now she's got contact with Initiate, so something's going on. This Initiate again. I, I wonder what his or her role in this is. Yeah. Uh, well, let's find out. Initiate has been in contact with two of our target persons so far. This should be enough. And here we go. Feel free to investigate this hacker as well, but keep the focus on Miss M uh, Matronova for now. Just start up a next, the next conversation. How the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't block any shit out like that, sweetie. Bust the duck off. Oh, wow. Nice. Come on. You should listen to me just for the moment, alright? And then I'm all gone. Poof. I don't care what you have to say. See, I know about your little band of troublemakers, and I really dig it. What? He's a fan? But not of Harrison. The off needs, needs a kick where the sun don't shine. That's right with me, sweetie. Who is this? When bombing people, that's plain wrong. Bullshit, how come you think that was one of us? Let's say, just say I've been watching you all for some time now. He knows more. He knows shit. The bond and bomb hit places where your outlaw, pro outlaw posse has been in has been to in the past. In a way you did not hear about that. Even the cops seem to have found out at least something. They knew where to they knew where to look for the best last bomb. So give me a reason to, you know, put like put that consciousness of mine at ease. I would want to help you not turn you in. How dare you threaten me, you got nothing. Yolanda, be cool. I said I wanted to help, after all, not threaten you. I'll show you I can be trusted. I'm trusted. I'm gonna hack that precious page of the party and upload something special. Oh, oh! Right, so the guys at the party now know he's coming. If I could get away from you, I would. I can't switch my phone off now. <laughs> that is a nice looking firewall you have there, dear party web team. It would be a shame if someone would just bypass it. Oh, come on, can you actually shut up now? Yeah, something like that. How can you type on two screens, screens at, at the same time? I mean, this... Oh, it still gives him the chills. He's not that advanced yet. I'm waiting for the reader to, to give a, a pop-up sort of, sort of thing. Or here. What the heck? Yeah, you get wrecked, son. I'm out. <laughs> get out. Get the fuck out. They just re they reinforced huge gap and the loophole is just vanished. It's almost like somebody warned them. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye, initiative. Initiative? Where? <laughs> It's an issue, then wait. I'm gonna spam you for the rest of your days if you don't answer my questions. Hell, will you fucking leave me alone then and quit poking around in my life? You said you were not involved in, in the assaults. I'm not. Okay, okay, do you think it's someone else involved? This band of misfits never. Why not? Harrison is the only guy I could imagine. Oh. Holy shit. Harrison had an interest in Cassandra because she could access the big money through her parents' company. But, wow. Juliet was a bit shy but damn good at organizing stuff. Wait, she's good at organizing, so she didn't do the other one. Good at organizing. 
and he suspects, uh, she suspects the gov itself from bombing stuff. I thought about that. Did you know uh, that since 2011, all the electronic devices must have unique IDs? Look at this BC. Uh, So that's her computer marked. We can use the insider tool to connect uh, and see what a user has on their device. Note a device must be running and have an online connection to access it. Let's do it right now. She's online, so. Browser history. She's been looking up for stuff. Search for CCTV. Vaguely, but it is a vague association. Singular, Bonton map, university, crash. Request, requested to work at Freedom Plaza on the day of the assault. That's good to know. Uh, she requested to be located to a job at one of the bombing sites. Well, it's only a request. Yeah, true. Just two locations. We've got our phone number now. And an application as housekeeper. Private, an apology and offer from Goldfels. Oh, we didn't have a email address yet. It probably unlocked something, but take a, give it a moment. I suggest, I would suggest we have a talk about how we might assist each other best. Wait, what? So, our data is like a minefield, all right. Oh, it's back to the insider. Uh, instead of passing judgment, judgment on you, I would like to offer my help. From my impressions, uh, I would assume you are someone whose life has so far has been troubled, to say the least. I have a rather moving background as well. They want to talk, or at least Abraham wants to. Let's see where this rabbit hole goes. Assist each other. Yeah, that's the weird part about it. Do not read. Wait. Damon Desmond Swartz? And her alias was Molly Swartz. What? So she might not be single. So I guess you disregarded the subject and went straight to reading this utterly embarrassing mail nonetheless. Our backpacking trip. Maybe enjoy every single second of it. Just remember the one time we wanted to have a photo with uh, an elderly Italian woman. Um, seems you have passed the patented patented the Desmond Swartz relationship test, so I might as well write down what I've been saying, trying to say all this time. Wow. Michael. So that's her son. Squad? She's a squaddy. Army veteran. What? So weird. She is an ex-soldier, yeah. I mean, she's, she's done multiple odd jobs. I mean, there's something there. Uh, the kids are her, the center of her world. She's a mom, so yeah. Uh, she's, yeah, she's making ends meet. I think, I think that's all of it, but just a quick read through. I really like Nina as a name, though. Why Molly? 
This one says to Molly, girl, I like your face. Come again. What the hell? Weird. So I think we got all we need from that. Initiate recognizes when help is not wanted. So, if we could get the code for Cassandra's machine, that thing should still be running, right? So, something like that. And Harrison updated something. What the hell did he do now? Most of you, my very loyal followers, friends and fiends, have never actually heard that I'm writing for the TNB. But yeah, this is a thing, looky here. Which just links back there. So, um, there is still data here. I haven't decided on her address yet, so... 2xd3 If we really need it, I'll just pick it up, but it's difficult. Bravery medal. Combat engineer. Holy shit. This girl is for real. Sergeant. Combat engineer. And now she's a single mother. And possibly a part-time terrorist? I doubt it now. That picture is like a boss, so yeah, I'll add that. Dishonorable discharge and three months of confinement before being AWOL, AWOL with voluntary return. Hmm, why? Did you know this puts her on the same level as any other previously convicted felon? Oh, that's bullshit. It's bullpatoot. Cyber protection experts. Mission Kerberos. Whoa. Let's see. The safety bill along with a set of further entitlements allows the army of the nation to be deployed in the homeland whenever needed. This paved the way for the mission Kerberos, intended to secure or evacuate densely populated areas in case of a large-scale terrorist attack. To be able to achieve this, several divisions of the army have been received, have received special training and are on standby at all times. Fortunately, no Kerberos has remained dormant to date. Second infantry and third infantry. And she was see, it doesn't say. There's no date on this either. Memorial. Whoa. There we go. So her boyfriend was killed in action. And that's what put her over the edge. So, yeah, the 2011 army missions were sanctioned by the current government. As much as I hate to say it, it definitely provides mo motivation to hate the government. The peacekeeping mission. She's got a le le uh, leg injury, so I don't know where that comes from, how it originated, but well. Um, wait, what? Let's 
Democracy, forces of true parties, FTP, declared war on newly formed government under General Demjan Kassart, which led to the long-lasting and bloody civil war until the nation was uh, army greenlit to intervene and de-escalate the situation. So, alright, so she's got a conflict with something else. Another mission, probably. First combat engineer, uh, battalion partially tasked with the mine clearance. Uh, border patrols aren't that exciting. And drug inhibition uh, doesn't, also, doesn't matter either. She wasn't, also, she wasn't involved there. Right. After torrential week-long rainstorms during the 2016 fall, Gentria saw one of the worst floods within its recorded history. Nearly 1,000 people died and over 800,000 others were left homeless. 2016, she was discharged in 20 2011. So this one doesn't matter. She never did that. She was here. This, is, this was after 2006 and it, uh, it didn't end in 2009. It just says that the government was elected. And there was a fatal accident in 2008. Um, doesn't say what what uh, platoon her boyfriend was, so going with this one. Knowledge about explosives. Yep. What's going on? Silv. Who is Silv? Let's see. Hello again, Nina. Silver, how's it going? You feeling better? Yeah, somewhat. Finally, after spending a whole week, a whole last week in bed. Oh, good. I can still bring Michael around. So, so that's her son, right? Yeah. Michael's son. Yeah. There we go. going to pick him up. Alright. That might be worth more than the address. You know where someone's going. McDougal Groundskeeping Services. What? So... She is faking this? Employed on April 14. That was when the Circle Mall was uh, hit. And ultimately quit for not feeling well after 8 of the 10 planned hours. So it's both, both are true. For, from her perspective, that is. I mean, she says she wasn't well all weekend. All week. Um, but she still wants to provide for her son, so I think she's, she just went. Because, like she said, it, her boy is, is the center of her world. She was there. Even at the right time, yeah. Things are not looking good for her, I know. She's got knowledge about the bombs. She was there on, on at the moment. I'm not sure we're right about this, though. I mean, it's the theory of the perfect circle. It doesn't exist. You cannot draw a perfect circle. Even when all the evidence points to one person, it might not even be that person. It's a perfect circle. It doesn't exist. It, ah. So we keep observing her. Still not sure about the address, so. Oh, wait, what? No! Shit. Fuck. I thought I had time, but apparently not. 
Is my name Ebenezer Scrooge? Why do all the ghosts of Christmas past suddenly come to haunt me? <clears throat> Initiate? What's going on? Oh, right, now we're gonna get a talk about Initiate. What's he gonna do, Harrison? What's he gonna do? Watching this unroll. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Grabbing this one, the medical one. It has to be. We're too late. Shit. Why is she calling Juliet? If you're running, why call her? Are they in this together? Holy shit. Of course, that's a bit weird. So that my son and I can lay low. The address doesn't matter. The Nina's address doesn't matter. The address which pops out here is the one which will matter. And that's where we find them. Of course. Damn it. Now he knows where I work, yeah. I already knew that, by the way. She's packing. Why not arrest her now? She's bringing her gun. Of course you would. She's armed. Didn't expect that. Oh, God. Uh-oh. She likes climbing, but she's also injured. Maybe she'll just climb out the window. Oh god. This is a this is a phone call. Holy shit. If they had actual voices for this, it would be amazing. You knew I was climbing out of the window. Wow. He, just the one guy? What the hell? Are we not the only ones going into this shit? Something happened? Holy shit. Lost connection to the officer at the scene. What the? I need my connection back now, finally. There was a shootout after first shots, the team returned fire. I, I told them to go in aggressively. I thought it was the right thing to do. 
achievement unlocked with powder and lead. Oh shit. Wait, what? Nina, I'm truly so sorry for having drawn the investigator's attention to you. But frankly, you overstepped the boundaries of our, our agreement. The bombs were meant as a warning to those who are indifferent. A beacon of remembrance to our message that the thoughts must always be free. They were not meant to kill. Once again, you disappoint me with your insurmountable hatred and rage. Consider our agreement void. She did plant the bombs, but Goldfells agreed to it. I thought he was a pacifist. They worked together on this madness, but why? I still don't get it. We must find Gab we must find Abraham Goldfels. It's Holy shit. I should go after Goldfells. I mean, I mean, like a bad guy. That, that's what I mean. Because at one point he is quite, he's much like a pacifist most of the time. But he gave a bomb to someone who's emotionally unstable. I guess that's it. Explosive, uh, explosives expert. She got killed. If I hadn't given the address, what would have happened then? Would it have been? Would it be better? Would it be worse? Inaction is an action of itself. What would have happened? I maybe if I didn't tell them she had a gun, then maybe things would have been different. Holy shit. I'll probably replay this game at some point. That was amazing. We thought she was the last remaining member of Thought, but Abraham Goldfels is still out there. He's not uh, abducted or or, or in danger. He's hiding for a reason. We know he's hiding. But next episode we'll hopefully find out why and where. Wow. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed, then I hope to see you next time. Um, bye bye.